the placenta's here, the umbilical cord's here. Uh, unfortunately, somebody pulled too hard on the umbilical cord and actually ripped the umbilical vein arteries apart, uh, and that hasn't been repaired yet. But uh, like I was saying when we did the uh, uh, PowerPoints, the uh, blood that leaves the placenta and returns to the fetus's body is in the umbilical vein. And the umbilical vein uh, is going to separate from the umbilical cord after the cord enters the uh, baby's body. Uh, the umbilical veins here, you can see it kind of headed for the liver. Now this uh, can be taken apart. I'm just going to lift this up so you can see a little bit better. What we've got here is once the umbilical vein gets uh, into the liver area, its name gets changed to ductus venosus. And different people have different opinions as to where you should make that uh, change. Okay, uh, I'm just going to, to make it simple, I'm going to say once you get to the liver, to the, as far as the inferior vena cava, that's the ductus venosus. Okay, that ductus venosus is going to empty into the inferior vena cava. I'm going to put this back in. The inferior vena cava is going to carry the blood to the right part. And of course, blood from the superior vena cava is going to join it. Now, here are two pathways of bypassing the pulmonary circulation. Uh, where this uh, black pipe cleaner is, uh, there's a hole in the intraatrial septum, and that is the foramen ovale. And a lot of blood is going to go through there. And as I said before, that bypasses the pulmonary pathway. Uh, the blood that doesn't do that goes down into the right ventricle. It's pumped out to the pulmonary trunk. I'm going to lift this up again. Uh, the pulmonary trunk is right here. And it bifurcates into the left pulmonary artery to the left lung, right pulmonary artery to the right lung. And uh, there's a little connection here. It doesn't show up too great on this model, but it's called the ductus arteriosus. Uh, the blood's going to preferentially flow through there instead of the uh, ductus or, or instead of the, the two pulmonary arteries. So that's our second way of bypassing the pulmonary pathway. And then when the baby's born, it expands the chest, takes its first breath of air, pulmonary vascular resistance falls. Uh, the blood goes through the pulmonary arteries instead. Ductus arteriosus is going to collapse. It eventually kind of shrinks off, becomes completely uh, tightly uh, closed off, and that becomes ultimately the ligamentum arteriosum. Okay. Uh, the uh, foramen ovale then is going to close because when blood returns to the left atrium of the heart, it closes that valve where the uh, foramen ovale was, and that's going to heal off to make the uh, uh, fossa ovalis. So that's it. Uh, let's walk over to the lymphatic system. 